Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial of our software testing bootcamp where we are talking about the fundamental testing concepts for everyone. We are in chapter three talking about the test types and the test levels and we are exploring right now 3.1 functional test levels. And as a part of this tutorial, we'll be talking into the next particular function level that is system testing. In order to understand system testing, we just need to quickly recall what we have covered so far. Number one thing we have spoken about, what is unit testing, which talks about single component and uh, text, test each and every feature within a particular module which is the smallest testable part of an application. Once we are done with a particular module, that is collection of all the components, we step into the integration testing, where integration testing is all about interfaces, and these interfaces can pretty much talk about interfaces between component, interfaces between modules, or interfaces between systems too. Of course, you have been through the previous tutorials, you know what exactly SIT stands for, and also what is CIT. Now, given that we are talking about just as an integration testing level, we understand that it is integrations between two or more modules. Suppose your unit testing is done, you start integrating different pages and look for the integration, the interface built between them. That as a user, can you navigate from one page to another page and the page two understands what the user has done on the page one. Once we continue building this flow, we land up at the final application, which is our system. Now, talking about system testing is all about testing the system as a whole. And we pretty much look into understanding of what exactly system testing is and uh, to make sure that this is the final product which my customer requested. Now, when we say the product, it's not necessary that you as an organization, as a team, will be building up the end product Sometimes you are building a part of the product which is just a system for you, but you will be handing it over further to customer where customer will be collecting similar different systems from many other organizations and integrating it further. Now this is where we say that system integration testing can happen after system testing. So what is system testing? System testing is all about that you are testing what you were supposed to build at the you know, completion of the project and that's your system. For an example, when a car multimedia system is built, right? When you talk about the multimedia, you know, the, inter the interaction system, which is built within the cars, they're never built by the car owners, right? You talk about the speaker, you talk about the, you know, several other indicators, etc. right? They are all built by some specific set of organizations which are expert in that. The tire of an old car is never built by the owner of the company. You have specific standards or specific organization who talk about building tires, right? Apollo, Michelin, Bridgestone, right? MRF, JK Tires, and so on. Mercedes never creates a tire. BMW does not talk about multimedia system. They buy it from somebody who is expert in making that. So the point here is when a multimedia system multimedia organization is creating an infotainment system to be used in a car, they will do it end to end and call it as system testing. Now that is their system, which will be further integrated with many other systems within a car, right? So for Mercedes, it becomes system integration testing. So it will take your system, he will take uh, the system which is supposed to work on the lights, uh, the system which is working on various other sensors like door lock, etc right? And they will put that all together in the assembly of the car and drive the car and test it. Point. Now the braking system, the airbag systems, the multimedia system, they are all built by different companies. And for them, for each one of them, their product is the system. So system testing is not always end to end testing. Where end to end testing means you are testing the final end product, which is going to go into the market. But system testing, could be different than end-to-end -end testing. Not always, but it is. it can be different from the end-to-end -end testing. So a lot of people sometimes say that, isn't it system testing is equal to end-to-end -end testing? Answer is yes and no, both. It depends, what are you talking about? What are you building up? 
You might be doing system testing, which is going to be integrated with other systems built by others, and then the end product will be tested. In that case, system testing is not equal to end-to-end -end testing, right? But in case you are building the final product, okay, and you are testing the final end product, which is going to go into the market, you call it as end-to-end -end testing, E2E. Now that's the key difference, which I wanted to clarify here, that what is the difference between system and end-to-end -end testing? Now, I hope you have a good clarity of it. Also, system testing being given that it has the full functionality in place can certainly cater environment-related issues because this product can now be deployed in a particular target environment, which is pretty much close to the real environment because it is system testing. You can install this file, you can install this application and see the behavior of it in terms of the functionality. And when you execute such things, you can say that, hey, the target environment has some kind of compatibility issues or this configuration may not be supported or this particular browser does not work, right? Or my application does not work on these browsers. So all these things can happen at this point of time where the target environment can be closer to the real one or sometimes just real one, not conflicting with the production part. But point is, as close as possible to the real environment because now you have something which is installable and you can test it. So target environment related issues can be very well identified here. System testing can also talk about the product risk which are related to the core functionalities. That how this competition algorithm is happening, how exactly the various features, the architecture supporting those functionalities, whether the user is able to perform an end-to-end -end flow right? Booking a flight, canceling a flight, modifying a flight, and success is what we are referring to. So some of the product risks related to the core functionality of the product can be very well addressed here at system testing level. Testers also need to deal with incomplete or undocumented requirements. By now, you have a full view of what you were supposed to build, and you can very much cater what you could not figure out. Maybe there are incomplete requirements or there are some requirements which were never documented. You now have a better picture of the product that what can we do best to fulfill those missing details, right? Because you have visibility. You have the information what you really wanted to achieve, right? So system testing, a lot of the time people think that it is just about testing an, an application entirely. That's correct. Is there anything else we do? That's the question. So we say, of course, we do a lot of things. Environment is a part of it. Risk is a part of it. You do make sure that all the functional parameters are working fine. And there are a lot of other things which can be taken into account at the system level. Last but not the least, we are letting you once again know that SIT, system integration testing, can happen before or after system testing as well. So if you in case you need more detail, go back to the previous tutorial once again and compare the statement back. You would understand how SIT can happen before or after system testing, right? Keeping it short and simple, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thank you for watching the video team and happy learning.